Hey, this is Daryl Olson from the Jackson Fishing Team. And uh, last fly we're going to tie for uh, this six fly series is uh, a snot fly. What is a snot fly? That, you know, the, sometimes from my research or reading about preparing for my trip to Moorhead City here in November, that sometimes the fish are keying in on smaller bait fish like maybe fry or you know juvenile silver sides or juvenile anchovies or or something like that from my understanding and and what they are is a small you know half to three quarters maybe an inch long uh, type type of small bait fish and that's what they're keying on and from my understanding I understand it's primarily maybe in the spring, but when when I was talking to the folks that are organizing this Moorhead City thing, the captains up there, they said that sometimes they'll be keying in on that smaller bait fish as well during during the fall. So they suggested tying some up on maybe a size four, not like a size six or eight. Some people will tie them that small probably in the springtime, but. Uh, Anyway, so they're, they're kind of a clear, with black eyes. There's no really no color. I mean, I think sometimes we might call them a glass minnow down here in the wintertime in, uh, here in the Charleston area for redfish or, or speckled sea trout. You know, they're, they're really small, maybe two or three inches long, and they're kind of translucent. And so the fly that we're going to tie, um, it's going to be kind of like a gummy pattern. But I'm going to be using some other materials along with that just to give it some flash. And uh, why don't we take a look at it and then we will uh, we'll see uh, how we tie the materials and, and that. It, hopefully it's a quick tie. So this is uh, maybe my take on a small snot fly on there. Um, so let's uh, let's take it out of the, the hook and we will or out of the thing and uh, the vise and we will uh, see how it goes. The hook I'm going to use is a. TMC 811S in a size 4. In this whole series, it's all been the, this style of a uh, hook, but primarily a lot of it was size 2s in there. Go ahead and we'll debarb this hook. So I would think any pattern that was translucent or maybe white in a smaller size could classify as a snot fly from the way I understand it on there and uh, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna weight this down with some uh, 0 0.015 lead free wire and I'm gonna just give it 15 wraps And remove that. Now it might not be necessary. My concept was that I was a little worried that maybe maybe the hook and that would be a little too light. I'm not sure how this uh, gummy material really works. But uh, kind of center center that in onto the hook shank. And then I'm going to use my monofilament again. And I'm going to take this back to where, about where the barb used to be. 
and then I'm gonna create some ramps to cover up that lead and and build up a ramp to uh, so it's got a smooth transition where I've got that lead weight. After all, I'll be using an intermediate line, maybe even a sinking line, and maybe I really don't need to put the weight on there. But uh, why not? All right. Next, we're going to use some of that uh, flay foils. I'm using a silver side in a size small. See if I can, and they come off on these little little sheets like this. You got to peel off. There's a top and bottom, which is for one fly. And I'm going to kind of line up. And putting that thread on there will also help stick this to uh, and there's that little tab I talked about in some other ones there that that we're going to tie to. I'll see if I can point that out before I tie this one on there for our new people. And I don't know if you can see that little tab right there that's what we're tying tying on to and we're going to want to make sure that the head and all that is about in the same location And then we'll whip finish there. And we'll trim that off. And then I'm going to kind of tap these ends together here. So it looks like it's all one piece in there. And I'm not too much worried about the little gaps here and there because the thin skin or the crystal skin is uh, going to take it. So here I cut like a triangle piece. This here is about a quarter, maybe three quarters of an inch here. And this is roughly the length of the, the hook there, so maybe one inch. And we're going to do is I'm going to try to remove the backing. on this and this is a thicker this crystal skin it's a little different than the product that I used uh, earlier in uh, the gummy fly this is a thicker material 
it seems to be a little bit better for me and uh, still sticky but uh, easier maybe to handle I don't know All right, I've got my sticky skin here. And I'm gonna do is kind of place it close to the midway point. And then I'm going to fold this over to meet the other joint. I'm there. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the bottom. I'm going to kind of cut at a curve here. And then maybe get rid of this tacky part right there. Take it out of the vise. I find it hard to, to do that. Let's see if I can get rid of that little little bit right there. And I'm going to start my thread again and kind of pull those that end in a little bit to give it kind of like a curve. And the bottom one a little bit. It kind of gives it a round shape there. And then we'll give it a whip finish. One more. Snip that off. Take a little UV and put on my monofilament thread. To protect that. And I'm using thin. And 
and uh, shoot it with the light. Let me use some hard head clear loon and just brush that on that seam. To cover up where that goop could come out. And then I'll let it dry upside down right there. And uh, while it's drying, that is uh, what the finished fly will look like. All right. There it is. That's what we ended up tying. Pretty small in there. So really, how small does a saltwater fly have to be for whatever whatever's out there to match that hatch, I'm going to say. Um, yeah, you can try to tie these up, maybe even not only if you didn't want to use thin skin, something white, like maybe even a small little clouser that size might, might work if it's all white, or maybe some other materials that's kind of translucent. Um, so it's just a snot fly. It's a small fly that the, that the albacore or the bluefish they're feeding on, and it does, and, the, and if you can see that happening, don't put on one of them two three inch flies or a three to four six inch fly bring it down to what the what the fish are eating and they don't have it doesn't have to be this particular pattern it's one that i thought i would try in fact i might even try to go back and get my redemption on a gummy fly by use trying to using this thicker material uh, a different material by the name of crystal stink skin and uh, just see how that works all right i'm daryl we'll see you on the water